Cat Albert 13 plays Dragon Quest Builders 2. We're about to witness my uh, execution, I believe. And five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Just tickling your ribs with my sword. <laughs> Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin girl. Yeah, maybe I'll join your weird cult. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, lassie? Will you join my skeleton crew? As long as I don't have to be a skeleton, I like to keep my skin and hair. You don't have to say anything. I wish more people would say that to Dragon Quest heroes. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's with that big book you're lugging around? I've never seen anything like it before. What, you, you've never seen a book? Oh no! Where did this rain come from? The sky, dumbass. Wah! You'll have to tell me later, Lassie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. Ah, an apprentice builder. You will do nicely. Doop doop. X button. X button. This is your world to create and yours to destroy. Okay, X button. Stop lingering on these words. I only have 15 minutes. Now come to me, my child. Okay, who's talking to me? Oi, cloth ears! What are you gawking at? Don't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks and into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. Okay, and uh... If you go up here, I'm not gonna do it. Mostly because I can't put my tongue out anymore. I'll get more saliva on my microphone. Climb up there, there's a monster you can talk to. One of those little imp guys. Or not an imp, got a... Uh, got, what do they call them? I'm not over, I hated Dragon Quest guys is up there on the crow's nest. Hello. One minute we're happily blobbing along the waves, the next we're slap bang in the middle of a horrendous storm. Wibble wobble, wibble wibble. Why am I wibbling so much? That's what signs do when we're scared. Well, we do it when we're not scared as well, but that's more of a wobble than a wibble. <laughs> wibble, 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 wibble. Fall. Wee! Sup, bitch? Stop being a bitch. Wh what in the world is happening out there? A storm. Oh, we're doomed, doomed, I say. What a way to go. Gulp, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the mother of all storms strikes. My luck runs dry just as I'm about to get soaked. Great sigh. You builder, now's not the time to be rubbing your freedom in our faces. Put a stop to all the shaking or I shall be very cross. I can't control the weather. Dumbass. What's up with you? You have grandfathers? Okay, I'll just keep hiding. And over here. Whoa, what the heck's going on? We've hit the iceberg. Quickly fetch all your Leonardo DiCaprios. C -c 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 Captain! Come to the hole quickly, we're in deep goo goo -do down here. Blimey, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. I don't <laughs> do great accents. You all right there, Builder? Ack, but I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get to the hold. I, even though I stopped to talk to myself. Paragon, preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here pronto. I need your help. I might be unconscious. Oh, okay, I'm fine. What's up? Over here, Builder! 
We're taking on water. B -b 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 builder, you've got to do something. I'm going to get squashed in the ocean. And I don't know how to swim. You're a slime. Don't slimes kind of float? Sup? Uh, I was unconscious, probably. I've got bad news. Oh. I don't even. <laughs> I can't even do the voice anymore. I've got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef and a rock. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You grab the crates and you plug the holes. Talk to him. And here comes more holes. Oh, that was cool. Look, when you go in the water, it's the screen gets wet. How adorable. And up we go. Yeah, you'd all drown without me. You're a lifesaver. Haha. <laughs> We're all gonna drown. Get grab it, you dum dum. Okay there. Saved. Stop trying to cut my neck off. St stop it. <laughs> Looks like we've hit a. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Uh, yeah. Stella. Oh man, I should have named my builder Stella. With the intro. Yeah, this is right around the time I lost electricity, so now I finally get to see what happens after the ship. Oh, sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just going, ooh, ah. Now, this was the intro I wanted to see. Awesome. I love how the T is the hammer. You almost drowned. Oh my god, they got the car back. <laughs> I love that. If he's Malroth, who's the real Malroth? Yikes! How many? Oh, five minutes left. Thank you for saving. Saving, 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 loading, loading, loading. It'd be a real bummer if the power went off again. <laughs> well, thankfully it did save. You can't save for some reason when you're on the ship. 
but the ship doesn't last that long. Uh, just basic tutorial. Bloop, bloop. Shantae awakens on a sandy shore. She's far from sequin lands. It seems she has washed up on a desert island along with the wreckage of the skeleton's ship. She decides to take a look around to see what she can see. Mmm, yummy kelp. Ah, too hard for me to hit. Suddenly, Shantae hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where's the voice coming from? Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Shantae might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. Oh good, more kelp. Oh well, I don't want to starve. Sands! I can build the ultimate sand castle. Swimming, she just walks <laughs> in the water. Uh, yeah, up. Oh, grab some wood. Oops, can I get this barrel? Yep. Ada. We'll find out in the next video.